Now, now, Cortez, I got to go to you because you just told me something interesting. Come on, you already showed the Snoop bottle, of course. You know, we are in unison this week. But what happened while you were there picking up your Snoop bottle? They didn't have no damn hypnotic, man. What? They had, what? No, they had no hypnotic in stock, bro. Oh, I'm shit. looking around I'm like, damn, what's going on here? So I got a funny feeling my, my hypno might have been discontinued. It can't be. But I'm going to check, other, mm. I'm gonna check, I'm gonna check some other places, man. Because if they don't have that, man, they have an Alizé Blue, man, I can mess with, yeah, man. Of course. It's similar, it's similar to a... You know a, what? When I was in Vodka yesterday... Mm-hmm. I was looking at the line of Alizé uh, drinks. I noticed that there was a whole bunch of Alizé stuff, but I don't remember seeing Hypnotic there. Hypnotic is still around because yeah, I got it. I got it down here. We got the big boy bottle down here, not that little skinny yeah. shit that you're used to. We got the big boy bottle. I'm gonna have to look for that next week. Yeah. So one thing I want to ask you, GPS, can you do a segment on apple cider and alcohol, man? Since we getting into since we getting into, into the fall, man, Ooh, make yeah. some. Mm, go ahead, Cortez. For October? Yes. Yeah, for Just because you mentioned bro. it, that's exactly what we'll do. I, and I got apple yeah. cider. I picked some up today at Walmart. They got a whole big gallon worth. It's good. I I used to have a co-worker, man, for parties. She used to heat the apple cider up, man, and put some vodka up in that shit, bro. Uh, oh, man, that shit almost was Almost like a, like a wetzel. Like a, there's a thing called like a holiday wetzel where you heat up the apple cider. You throw in like little cloves and cinnamon. It's more of a Christmassy type of drink. But they must have taken it to the umph level and put that vodka up in there. Yeah, man, that shit, G, it was off the chain, man. Ooh. So if you could do that, GPS, give us some like fall drinks, man. Oh yeah, it's our thing, you know. Well, October for sure. I just found a recipe for a Mexican gin and tonic. What? So, in light oh, of shit. Hispanic Heritage Month, yes, I dig that. Muy bueno, señor. Muy bueno. Are you seriously going to do it right now? We're going to do it right now. What? We ain't going to wait. Oh, shit. Okay, man. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a world exclusive. Once again, we are doing, for Hispanic Heritage Month, we are doing the mixture of GPS? A Mexican gin and tonic. Mexican gin and tonic. What are they? Okay. There we go. So. The recipe calls for gin. Gin. Good start. <laughs> Look at that. Now, mind you, the more Eurocentric versions say one shot. Roughly 35 milliliters. We don't do that here. <laughs> <laughs> he breaks the rules. Oh. He breaks the rules. And so now. it says. Tangeray. What is. And lime juice. Lime juice. Okay. Oh, lime juice. Interesting. Okay. All right. Squeeze. <laughs> hey, put, a, put a whole thing in there. <laughs> uh, you, you missed a drop. So. That, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Make uh, sure that whole bottle is empty, bro. That's right. And then it says, top off with tonic water. Really? Uh, well, yeah. You, you didn't have too much room left to top off, so uh, you might need to sip and then top off again. But anyway. All like right. I said, I work three times harder than the average individual. God Therefore, right. my ratios are a slightly, uh, slightly different. Parallel to how hard I work. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> if you believe it, then it's not a lie. All right. Here's the sip. Here oh. is the the drum. Wow. Line. Really? Yo. Let me you tell you good, something. You did a good job with the mixing, bro. Hell yeah. Let me tell you something. Okay. Break it down. I actually like this better, and I'm going to tell you why. Okay. And it's not because I'm so fucked up. Three drinks <laughs> in. <Okay? laughs> Speak on it. With the extra lime juice, you mm -hmm. don't really taste any of the alcohol. Could it be, hopefully, that this is a healthier version of this drink? Because, you know, nah. the tonic water and the alcohol, nah. different ratios versus the garnish of the lime. Well, now you got the lime juice, which has maybe slightly more electrolytes in it. So it's slightly healthier as you're drinking alcohol and dehydrating yourself. You're putting more vitamins in. I know you don't. Just maybe. It. I don't know. But right now, I feel really good. So <laughs> He doesn't I'm believe I'm not even that. feeling the week right now. No, no. Let's let's get this yeah, right. You're not you even get your stuff. you're not even feeling right now. Okay, that's the real point. You're not Ooh, feeling anything. Let me tell you something. 
But the the weird I, thing about look how you mixed it, man. That thing looks it looks beautiful. It does. It, yeah, it looks dark, sharp. It's dark at the bottom. It's dark at the bottom. It gets light at the top. Yeah, let man. me see. Let me see the bottom. Let, hold let, that up, let, bro. Let the, hold the glass up just a wee bit. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Bring it back down a little. All right. All right. Perfect. Perfect. So, so yeah, Cortez, you are right. It's a little darker down, and it kind of lightens when you get to the top. GPS. Do you feel anything right now? I actually feel kind of numb. <laughs> Damn. I mean, because I mean, working, I mean, I started working. sipping when we, you know, we were in the first part of our show. So now, you know, I'm like really nice right now. So. Oh, you really fucking nice. Uh, <laughs> mm, this is not necessarily a drink for rookies. Okay. No. This is for your OGs. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Right. I drink to that. I'll drink to that. And of course, Cheers. we have our truly live. Truly, uh uh-uh. uh Wow. Look at that. So, so, ladies and gentlemen, you have truly been blessed by Mr. GPS today because not only did he give you one, but he gave you two, two drinks of the week for America. Mm-hmm. The first one for America, and the remix version was for Hispanic Heritage Month. Double the pleasure, double the fun. The drink looks beautiful, man. Yes. That's why I was wondering, GPS. You might want to. I would really think about going to bartending school, man. Because hey. that right there. Well, the problem is you can't. How much money can you make at it now? The bars are at twenty five percent capacity. I mean, speakeasies. Speakeasy is same as a house party. It's just hey, it's not regular. see. Hey, w- w- wow. we're giving you great advice here. And hey, who who doesn't want to pay the rent every month with the speakeasy? Let me tell you something. <laughs> I could probably pay my house off in 10 years. Okay? You probably paid off in 20 minutes. 